came in the room, I seen Puffy busting. He was getting it in. Justin is at Diddy's parties. Diddy made Justin sleep with Jennifer. Beautiful, beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. Thank <laughs> you, man. Good lips. I'm not going to show it out of just respect for the fact that I truly believe that Justin Bieber is a victim. Justin Bieber is getting yacked out of his mind. Huh? He's not even 18 at the time. They get all these videos J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that. So who was with you this weekend? Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. Oh, this party? Oh, they have the people that were the Kardashians are mixed up in this. It's hard to say which is more off the hook. A Diddy party or a Diddy after party or a Diddy after after party. You're going to hear about my party. They're going to be shutting them down. They're going to probably be arresting me. There's new Diddy party videos of Justin, J-Lo, Chris Brown, and I'll get to all that. An alleged tape involving an 18-year-old pop star. Jennifer Lopez. We know Justin and JLo have been to Diddy parties together and been going for a long time since the beginning. Unfortunately, we know Justin has been a and taken advantage of in many situations allegedly at these parties. It has long been suspected that the person that Diddy had under his thumb was Justin Bieber. Did Bieber get you into lean or did you get Bieber into lean? It was bad. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. I was popping. I was doing long shrooms. And Trey's like literally sitting there playing lookout. Playing lookout as Justin Bieber goes down on Odell. That, that Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club. But whatever he is doing in this video with Trey Songs and Odell Beckham Jr. looks highly suspicious. Justin Bieber is not sober. He is, is clearly very heavily under the influence at this party. Man, I think that there were times where I was really, really like really like man this is this pain ever gonna go away i was waking up in the morning and the first thing i was doing is pop pills and smoking a and starting my day after diddy introduced him to this lifestyle justin bieber couldn't stop and there's many celebrities that went out with him and saw him out of control justin bieber in cans i was walking him down to our party on our boat he had like all the paparazzi it was the first time i'd, I'd really like seen that up close and i, I gave him and got him laid. Oh, I just, I mean, there was a chick there that I banged and I told her to bang him. I don't know. I think it was something like that. And I let him use my room. <laughs> There's nothing really that crazy. It's also being alleged that Kim K is under suspicion for being in these tapes and these parties. And we don't know how deep it goes, but they had a weird thing with Justin Bieber too. Well, I met him at the White House Correspondents Dinner. And um, I guess he had said in an interview that, you know, he had a crush on me. And so I was kind of flirting back and said, oh, he's adorable. Kim Kardashian's sister, you into Armenian girls? Um, well, I mean, I don't know. She, she actually said, or Kim said, I think Justin Bieber should date my sister. We took a picture together. He Twittered it and said, me and my girlfriend, Kim, everyone thought he was being serious. And Kim, tell me about your photo shoot with Justin. Oh, my God. It was so much fun. How old is Justin? 16. Does he have a crush on you? Do you have a crush on you? <laughs> Is this a joke? Why they love their prey so young. Justin Bieber didn't do that to himself. I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff in my past, and I wasn't able to move on. Justin Bieber is in need right now, who has been a <laughs> out in the industry. But did he taught him well, right? There's rumors that are circulating around Atlanta and all around the music world that Bieber may have been dated by Usher in the same way that Usher has been by Diddy. And as a direct result of this alleged violation taking place, I've been told that it has compromised the mental health of Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber saying along with Jennifer Lopez as she kicked off her three-year residency in Las Vegas. <laughs> These J-Lo tapes allegedly contain her with young pop stars and supposedly Homeland Security told Ben Affleck about this and that's why they divorced. The <laughs> FBI it's a white man who got respect in the white world. Of course, you would say, we want to show you some things. Because it brought your wife. When he sees you see that her and Puffy were doing and who they were doing it with, I'm quite sure. They gave his ass those tapes. Diddy has freak off tapes of J-Lo because she will not say anything in public against him. And she's worried about these tapes coming out. 
We know Diddy has a temper because he would force J-Lo to be at the freak off parties and he even got insulted one time when Will Smith and Jada wanted to hook up with J-Lo but not with Diddy. After that, we never saw Will Smith and Diddy hanging out again. When you were dating J-Lo, Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a th and you were going to beat up Will Smith. Is that true? true? You, you really heard that? We were at a birthday party. It was at the Four Seasons. Will Smith and his sister and her husband, we were all sitting on this side of the room. Matt Damien, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, Puff, Will Smith, and uh, Jada, and they were sitting on the other side of the room. He stood up. When he stood up, he walked and like, and did his own some, some kind of way. Like, so I go towards him and he said to me, he said, yo, I think Will and Jada is trying to scoop up Jennifer. I want you to stay close because I'm a snuffer. I said to myself, Will Smith gonna be out <laughs> Once J-Lo realized that Diddy only wanted to party, go out and have freak offs, she no longer wanted to continue the relationship because she stayed with him even after the shooting in 1999. But at this point, Diddy has so much on her that she has not said nothing bad about him really in 20 years. What time do you stay up till? I stay up till like maybe six, or six in the morning. I'm back up at like 10, 30, 11. Six in the morning? What do you do every night till six in the morning? You don't go to clubs every night. No, I mean, I, I mean, I make love a lot. I told you when I came on the show, I was going to be completely honest and expose myself to the world. Um, we had this kind of crazy, tumultuous relationship and that ended in like a bang, let's say. And uh, yeah, I just kind of hit the wall and was just like, I can't do this anymore. I could always see you getting back with Puffy in a little way. <laughs> Is this the one you were talking about who just cheated on you and treated you horribly and you just stuck it through? Just We just didn't have the same kind of ideals about life and family and stuff like that. And I had to learn um, to care about myself a little bit more and put up certain boundaries of what I would accept and wouldn't accept. All this comes back around to a book that has just released, Memoirs of Kim Porter, written by somebody who didn't know her. A lot of people say the book is fake, but that doesn't change the fact that after Kim passed, Many people said she was already writing a book and this was years ago where she does say and mention certain things that they're also mentioned in this book. Personally, I wanted to get involved because I'm not a part of hip hop directly. I'm not a rapper, obviously, or anything like that, but I've been in the business and been around the business. So to kind of see what these guys have done and how they've taken you know, rap past, you know, music, it's become a phenomenon, it's a culture, it's a, you know, so it's just for me, I wanted to present something beautiful and package it. So I wrote this book and I attached it to him. So it seemed like everybody who was going to make a tell all story, something happened to them. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And Alvy Shore was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a I already know. Still probably told all that Book, you understand that up and got missing the day she died now according to Kim's stylist she was writing a book where she specifically mentions that Diddy and Clive Davis had multiple encounters and Kim also told her that she had video footage of Diddy and Usher hooking up when he was young remember Diddy always had cameras in his houses, so this would make sense. This is all alleged, but here's the email that the stylist wrote to another YouTuber. I met with Blank this past Sunday evening, and she showed me the rough drafts that Kim sent her. When looking over the details of Kim and Diddy's relationship that will be exposed in the book, it will absolutely blow your mind. Also, some of the things in the book cover Diddy's key relationships, footage of those encounters, the men he slept with, Diddy giving Usher an STD. Now, crazy enough, Usher got sued by three different people for him giving them Documents have been filed in the Usher or genital herpes lawsuit. Now, if the rumors are true that Usher and Diddy hooked up when they were young, then it shouldn't surprise you that Diddy was also sued for transmitting herpes to a man. And this man actually won the judgment. Yeah, and I'll be the I was like a slave. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. He would mess up. I wanted to do Cassie. I had like 15 cows. I caught no and I came back and I see for a reason war. Also, how she would use a born to please Diddy and how she would hysterically cry alone after doing so. How she protected Al be sure from running into Diddy and would call him to warn him not to show up to certain places to avoid trouble. That Diddy had something to do with the death of his ex-partner and the mother to his children, a woman named Kim Porter. Now, what happened was she mysteriously died of pneumonia 
at the age of 47. Kim died from pneumonia. They have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. Now, not to get into any conspiracy theories, but after Kim passed, the person who did her autopsy and confirmed that it was pneumonia, he also passed away. Click here if you want to see the crazy stuff that happened with Mason Diddy, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.